Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tips. So one of my long-term problems with Final Cut Pro is being able to get proper eases inside of Final Cut without having to go into motion. But I figured out a bit of a workaround and uh, let's do that here. Let's start off by creating a new project. I'll just call that QT6. All right, so to do, so to do this, what we're gonna do is go into build in, build our titles and just bring in custom. And then we can actually just move the screen over here because we want to maximize the amount of real estate. Uh, let's try fit. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into the setting here, then position it off screen at the beginning. And then I'm going to set a keyframe. Then I'm going to go ahead by about 15 to 20 frames. Let's go to 20 frames. And then I'm going to set a keyframe at zero. Okay, so now let's go into transform. And we've got our points there. You can see there's the end point and then there's the beginning point. So what you would normally do is set your smooth points. As you can see, they're already in there. But let's just change them to linear first. And I want to show you what the problem I have is, right? So let's say they're smooth. Now I'm going to pull this point and completely exaggerate it. And let's see what happens. Let's go to the beginning. And now the problem like I have is surely pulling that point out should make it slow in but what it does is actually pull it faster in you can see there's no ease over here if anything it's actually moving um, by more than it was over here so here it's moving by a certain amount then it's moving more here that's the kind of interpretation if anything it's going more linear but let's try something well let me show you what i've figured out so let's select this point and i will select this hold shift and drag it to the other side i'm going to maybe put it right to the end there so obviously what that's going to do is just push it all the way to the edge. But what I notice is that you can see that there's an ease here before it starts going crazy. So that slows down. So there's, there's actually a point. So what I'm going to do is hit Alt F. And what that's going to do is create a, um, a freeze frame. As you can see, there's my freeze frame. It starts at about frame 15 and goes on for two seconds. And if you don't have that, if or rather if it doesn't create that for you, just go into your preferences and editing and then just say still images here, two point, uh, or make it whatever duration you want. I'll just set it to two seconds. So what that's gonna create now is a little ease towards the end there. So if we just play that through, you can see that it's very subtle. But what we can actually then do is select the both of them, create a new compound clip. And I'm just going to call that title. I'm going to delete this extra section because we won't need that. I'm going to hit Command R to bring up the speed and then slow it down to 50%. So there we go. We do have a slight ease at the end there. What you can also do is just scale it up so that you can notice it a bit more so that it's not traveling uh, at the same speed for too long. So if I have that title in the middle of the screen there, what you'll notice is that it eases in. All right, guys, so give it a try. Let me know what results you get and subscribe for more quick tips like this. And I look forward to catching you guys in the next one.